What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, Stardust Crusaders. Today we're going to be doing episodes 9 and 10. And in the last couple of episodes, we are in Singapore, right? We are in Singapore. They were attacked by Soul Sacrifice Stan, okay? Um, pretty terrifying Stan, to be honest. Um, was a little voodoo doll running around. Um, per, per, ben, <laughs> I cannot remember this character's name to save my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Polnareff. Polnareff, man. God damn. Took a break and came back and... <laughs> Still fumbling the name, my god. Polnareff, right, was attacked by Soul Sacrifice. Very, very intriguing battle between the two of them. I like, I think out of all of their stands, I like Polnareff's the best. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like his the best. Um, um, yeah, I, I just like his. <laughs> I just like his. Eventually, I'm going to know the names. As the season go on, I'm going to remember the names. So I'm not worrying about um, knowing them now. We're just 10 episodes deep. Um, and I'm doing all of this basically in one session. Or, yeah. So it's kind of hard to keep up with the names. So going to dive in, man. So I won't hold you guys up any longer. Let's continue with some more JoJo's, man. This show is fire. It is fire. It is fire. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys for the review. Man, oh man. Well, here we go. Here we go. We die. You know, Avdal, you know, was a real one. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to hold out hope to see if he's going to pull through this. I, I don't think he died. I don't think he died, but it seems like he's dead, man. It seems like he's dead, but I'm going to hold out hope to see what happens in the next episode. Um, to see if mr mr french guy is gonna go is gonna go off what is it perny off pretty off <laughs> can never remember his damn name pretty off <laughs> i'm not gonna remember this his name bro i'm just not i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just not gonna remember his name because it's, it's like i can't remember this guy's name bro you know what i'm saying i just can't remember his name it's <laughs> always got to go back and check. Um, Polnareff, right? And I see it happen all the time in anime where the person actually is broken inside. And they won't, you know, they won't express that feeling. You know, they continue to talk shit and then they start crying. Kind of reminds me of Zabuza when Haku died in Naruto. That's what it reminds me of. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was still kind of talking shit until... Naruto called him out and was like, did you even care about Haku? You know what I'm saying? You know, and then he, he was brought to tears. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he said, your words cut deeper than any sword. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, as I said, it's one of those things in anime that pretty much, you know, it's a trope. You know what I'm saying? You see it all the time in anime. Where, you know, they continue to talk shit about somebody that just died. But they're like broken inside by it. But they don't want to express that emotion on the battlefield. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm pretty sure. I'm, as I said, I'm I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure Avdal is gonna pull through. It looks like his stand disappeared from this the the steam that was emanated from his body. So I'm guessing that was like a indication of his stand like disappearing or I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully in the next episode we get to see what's the aftermath of this. Because that was a really intense episode. These two guys, the Emperor and whatever dude with two right hands, they're a problem. They are a problem. You know what I'm saying? They're a problem to deal with because this man can curve bullets. So the entire thing, the gun and the bullet, 
is a part and he just fired one bullet suppose he fires more you know what i'm saying um he can control the bullet you know and the other one he can go through any kind of reflections no matter what it is the, it doesn't have to be um a solid reflection like through any type of glass or anything like that as long as the, a reflection can be made on a surface of anything whether it be liquid or solid he can move through it and stan is ridiculously overpowered because you can't see it if you're looking just looking you have to be looking in the reflection to kind of see um the best way to fight this dude is in the house of mirrors you're not <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you're not going to know where he's coming from and it looks like he can't use his power unless mirrors are around or unless some sort of reflection is around that's what i'm getting it looks like he can't use his stand unless there's reflections around so if you fighting him in like a desert or something you know where there's no water or anything to you know you probably could have him but um we'll see how things pursue i want to see it's going to be an interesting fight to see who fights him though that's the thing it's going to be an interesting fight it's going to be a hard person to fight but um i don't know man hopefully abdal is okay hope he pulls through this i'm not going to say he's dead yet until the, you know what i'm saying until he's in the ground you know death confirmations is a big thing for me like i need to see the person die 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 <laughs> you know what i'm saying for me to confirm that they're dead you know what i'm saying so i'm looking forward to the next episode of course i'm gonna start um doing that at a later date of course i'm going to dive into a totally different anime right now now that i've got 10 episodes done for jojo i'm gonna go do 10 more episodes of something else right now to be able to get to that okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the reactions for the week um you guys had two episodes per day this week for five days it's awesome um i won't guarantee you guys that jojo is going to be ready for next week for for next week but if i can get those episodes done next week then i will let you and then you will know that you, you if, if you see episodes drop on monday more than likely you're gonna get episodes for the rest of the week so i'm just letting you guys know that you see this is the reason why i tell people to watch my intros and my and my reviews not only for to keep watch time up on the channel so youtube will recommend my videos more because people are enjoying it they'll rec recommend it to other people that are watching jojo reactions not only that the fact that I say a lot of things in my intros and reviews that people come in the comment section asking me about. And to be honest, it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying because there's a lot of stuff that I cover. Now, I'm not going to respond to that com to that comment and tell them that they're being annoying, but I will say to them that a lot of this stuff that I discuss, I discuss in my intros and my reviews, I talk about this stuff. And so like announcements and stuff like that. And that's why I've said that. Um, I'm going to start doing stuff in my intros and reviews that's only going to benefit the people that are watching my intros and reviews, like my giveaways and stuff like that, that I'm planning that are coming up. All that stuff is going to just going to be, I'm going to start leaving hints and clues for you to go back and look for, or if you watch the review already, you'll know what the clue is. You'll know what the answer is. Um, but if you don't do that if you don't watch my reviews you won't be entered into these contests so you can win stuff and stuff like that so i'm trying to do everything i can to encourage you guys to do this because i know that my reaction is not on youtube so my watch time is not going to be great but if you guys actually watch my intros and reviews my my actually watch time can be great on youtube but you guys just kind of come to the videos most of the people i'm not talking people who are who's watching my reviews right now <laughs> okay I'm talking about the other people. All they do is just come to the video and go straight to the Google Drive and watch the reactions. Then they go away. They don't even come back to see what my review is. And that's the reason why I don't have a lot of comments on my videos. That's the reason why I don't have a lot of likes on my videos. Because even if I get 100 views, I'm not doing thousands of views on my videos. So when, even if somebody like, like, if like two, 300 people watch my jojo reactions right on average it's probably around 
if I should say like 150, 200 on average people on the channel are watching my Jojo reactions, right? So if that's the case, at least I expect like 20%, 20, 30% of, of people should be liking the videos, but that's not, that's not what it is. Like my videos are barely cracking 50 likes. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's tough for me when I see that, because when I see that, I'm like, okay, are people not? do they not like the video or they just not going back to YouTube to actually push the like button then do it before you leave man <laughs> you know what I'm saying but in any case um you know it's just a little bit of a pet peeve for me because I really want it I really want the channel to grow um I really want to hit 6,000 my goal was to hit 7,000 by the end of the year we were on pace to do that before the pan before the pandemic um and stuff like that and the channel has been growing don't get me wrong but it's close to the end to it's close to um to the end of the year right now um and i'm pretty sure you know we just hit 5,000 subscribers or something you know what i'm saying i don't know by the time you guys have seen this video i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be at 5,000 subscribers so um so yeah finally get a, get a chance to actually um watch jojo again and we are here man so i just wanted to put that out there to help you guys to understand those of you guys that are watching the review man i really do appreciate you so let me say that um i really do appreciate you guys for sticking with it um some people do left leave the video running when they go to watch the 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 um the the reaction i'm also in the process of trying to get my reactions off of the google well not really off of the google drive but more providing another option a better option so you guys don't have to be dealing with limit views um on the google drive because right now I, i'm the one paying for that space on the google drive right i'm the one paying for that every month no charge to y'all you know and i'm saying i know you know pretty much you know people that have signed up for um the membership so far i'm pretty sure that's going to come um helping with the google drive and stuff like that but i'm hoping what i'm going to do i'm going to start putting that money aside that i'm getting from youtube which is not a lot it's not a lot and you have to hit a hundred dollars on youtube before they even send you any money so um it takes like six months to make a hundred dollars on my channel right now at the pace that we're going it takes like six months to make a hundred dollars from youtube so um hopefully we can get to a place where i can just put that money aside and just decide to go ahead and do that and as i've said before um this is something that i'm planning a video that i'm planning to do on the channel to let you guys know what i'm planning to do but i really don't want to do that because by the time you guys have seen this video memberships probably is not even a couple of weeks old maybe not even a week old you know what i'm saying so i don't want to put that out there yet but it's something that I'm looking forward to to presenting to the channel for us to move forward and doing better things. And it's, it's something that I would only have to pay for one time and I'll be able to upload unlimitedly and stuff like that um, because I don't want any restrictions on because doing this, I could pay the service that I want to do. I could pay for it on a monthly basis i could pay for it on a monthly basis but the problem is it's still very limiting on a monthly basis so you're only able to upload like five gigs a week and stuff like that and it's very limited i upload 20 30 gigs a week easily with my reactions because they're full reactions they're not cut up you know with just only 10 minutes of footage like it's the full reaction and I'm talking about like I'm doing uh, one hour reactions sometimes with my TV shows and stuff like that. So I have to put that into perspective when I'm uploading, when I'm looking at my Google Drive and how fast that space is going um, right now, the entire Google Drive. And that's not counting the other ones that I've used. Um, that's not even counting the other ones that I've used um when the main one was was acting up because the main one is sitting at like 800 and something gigs right now right it, yeah 800 and something gigs right now off of a two terabyte storage space that that i have on on the google drive right so 
I'm trying to, to get around that as much as possible. I really do feel for the people that are experiencing the Google Play limits. Um, it's, it's, it's all good. I thank you guys so much for sticking around, man, and, and dealing with the situation. Um, but I appreciate y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. So leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.